The PGA Tour has the Memorial Tournament lined up for this week, so let's break down my top options for DFS over on FanDuel.com. In the upper tier, I like Cameron Smith for a couple of reasons. The big one is he fits the optimal roster construction for what I want because Smith's salary is just $11,100. I want to go with a more balanced approach for this week given the depth of this field and the fact that Smith, I think, is just a bit under salary. He is a great short game player, which does play well here at Muirfield. Doesn't play that well off the tee, but that's not a massive part of the game for this specific course relative to other courses on the PGA Tour. Now, Smith does have a poor history at this course, but he's in better form than he's been then he's he's in better form right now than he's been in pretty much his entire career. He's just eleven thousand one hundred dollars, and I think it's a good time for Smith to turn that around. So despite the poor history, I do like Smith at the top end on FanDuel for this week. Using Smith at that slightly lower salary gives me more flexibility in the mid-range. So I want to go to Cameron Young, checking in at $10,200 for this week. Young was a guy we talked about a lot heading to the PGA Championship, and he nearly won that event, getting his third consecutive top three finish. Young is a guy who thrives via just launching it off the tee, and that's not something you need to do here at Weirfield by any means. But he can be accurate as well. He ranks second in stroke speed off the tee across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. We've also seen Young getting much better with his irons and with his wedges, and it's led to a lot of high-end finishes and a lot of good upside. I want to be in the 10,000 range a lot for this week. Guys like Mita Pereira, Seamus Power, and Cameron Young. And to me, Young is the biggest priority of a very good range. So Young fits what I want from a roster construction perspective, fits what I want from a talent perspective, and I think grades out well at $10,200. In the value range, it is the same value golfer we had as last week in Chris Kirk. And Kirk did come through as the primary value this past week, finishing in 15th there, and he played good all-around golf. Kirk's salary is up to $9,200, but I don't think that's too restrictive because he ranks 17th in strokes gained off the tee across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He's 25th in approach and 5th around the green, a good all-around golfer. He's not a great putter, and that does matter for sure, but he's also not hideous in that department. So the hope is that Kirk gains enough strokes tee to green to put himself in good position to score, and I think he should do that for this week. So Kirk, once again, the top value and a guy we can lean on for this second consecutive week. That's all we got here for today on the FanDuel Hurry Up, but we are back once again next week for more PGA DFS action over on FanDuel.com.